Coming your way from New Orleans and the American Farm Bureau 100th Annual Convention. Hi everyone, Jim Bartles here along with Kevin Papp. Kevin, of course, the president of Minnesota Farm Bureau. And Kevin, we're well into the convention. The president's going to be talking behind us in a little bit too. A little overview on the convention and, and what you've seen as the highlights and the strengths of this convention in New Orleans. Well, certainly the highlight is getting everybody together. We've got members from all 50 states in Puerto Rico here. We'll do policy tomorrow um, as we do with our delegate session. Um, but it's just celebrate our accomplishments. You know, 100 years is a big deal. There's a lot of places, a lot of organizations that don't make it 100 years. Kevin, let's talk about some things that uh, President Zippy Duval talked about as the opportunities. And he, first of all, he said 2018, while it was a challenging year for farmers, he said it was probably the best year for policymaking, including the farm bill. So that's all good. But then he said, we've got some big things we need to hurdle yet. The first one was clean water, clean rules. You know, it is. there's a lot of things to celebrate, but there's a lot of financial and emotional challenges out there. We appreciate the good things. We got a farm bill. We got to get it implemented yet. We got started on rewriting the waters of the U.S. You know, clean water is a priority of everyone, agriculture included. And it's not just clean water, clean air, making sure our natural resources are protected and improved, but we've got to have a rule that clearly defines when is it a national res a regulation and when is it regulated by the state. We've got good state regulations, that's what we should be using. Next item he talked about, there's a new Congress. We got some new uh, uh, building relationships to get put together. And that really works both levels from a Minnesota perspective. You know, we've got a new majority in the U.S. House, just like in Minnesota, so that means new chairman, uh, a lot of new members, both in Washington, D.C. and St. Paul. So Farm Bureau members are going to engage early with those new members, those new chairs, and talk about those issues important not only to agriculture, but rural communities. Kevin Papp is our guest. We're coming to you from the big arena. They say they got more chairs in here than they actually have uh, people who signed up. There's 6,000 people here. So this is a huge place. Next item that uh, President Duval talked about, farm labor, immigration, those go hand in hand, but it's a very important issue for farmers. Well, I think we need to remember, you know, cows and crops don't wait. That's, uh, that's a perishable, and ag labor is so important. We need not only the short-term, but the long-term labor to make sure. We've got a, a, labor pop, a labor force that's very skilled, they're experienced, they're hardworking, but some that are undocumented. We have to look to how can we have an ag labor force that we can count on. And the last item, broadband for rural. You know, a lot of things are not just necessarily agriculture issues, they're rural things. Whether it's health care, whether it's daycare, rural broadband is one. You need that not only for education, for, for medical care, but agriculture with precision agriculture needs that high speed broadband as well. Kevin, anything else you want to mention before we wrap up? Uh, again, great convention, but any, anything else you want to address our listeners and viewers? Well, I just want to, again, thank you and, and the stations for the coverage of agriculture, not only here at this, on the, on the scene, but throughout the whole year. Um, you, you get that voice out to us, our, our members, our potential members, and all consumers know what agriculture is up to. So thank you for your time this week and every day. Well, thanks a lot. As we say, farming is everybody's bread and butter, and uh, Farm Bureau, the future of agriculture, farms, families, and food, it all ties in. You know, if you eat, you have a connection to agriculture, and that's food. Kevin Papp with us for coming your way from New Orleans. Jim Bartles here for the Ingstead, Minnesota Radio Network.